hour ago, uh, there was an incident that took place, which is why I'm standing here in front of you today. Uh, my grandfather had come to visit us um, and one night there was a lot of commotion and when I woke up, I found he had fainted in the bathroom and he got hurt and there, there was blood from his forehead. So I started speaking to my mom about this as well to try to get what she thinks about it. She's a doctor. That's when she told me my grandfather has this condition known as postural hypotension. So under this condition, any time a person gets up off the bed, your blood pressure drops and because of that you may faint or um, you know you may fall down or you may feel dizzy. So when I got to know about this, that's when I started um, thinking or brainstorming of what I can do. That's when I came up with a device, it's called a Jagran Kavach. So this device basically works in two ways. It has two methods of trying to protect you. Uh, one is that anytime you get up off the bed, you'll be wearing a loose compression belt. But anytime you get up off the bed, the pillows will sense that you've gotten up. So I will have pressure sensors attached to the bottom of my pillows. And anytime they sense a pressure drop, automatically a compression belt, the compression belt, you know, air gets filled in and it tightens. It serves the same purpose as the normal compression belt that exists in the market currently. This is different from the one that currently exists because when you're sleeping, when you go to sleep, it's loose and it's comfortable. You don't have any discomfort, but only when you're getting up is when it tightens and and then it serves its purpose. The other way I'm trying to combat or, or to work around this problem is having an alarm or a buzzer ringing. So that, that can play maybe an automated message that says, please get up slowly, please wait for a few minutes. So this way the patient is alert that, okay, yes, I have to be slow, I have to be careful. And the people around, like in my case, my grandmom is also able to understand that he's getting up and so she has to be a little careful. These were the two ways that I hope I can completely combat this um, problem and I can provide a permanent solution for my grandfather. I think it's so commendable. Wow, I fantastic. think you also, uh, you're so eloquent and you explained it so beautifully. So Thank this you. is a, a sensor activated compression belt. Yes, yes. And how do you prevent it from misfiring? For example, when your grandfather turns, turns around sleep. in the bed. Absolutely. So uh, to prevent this, we're attaching two pressure sensors or two sensors under the pillow. Got it. So even if I turn from one side to another, I'm still going to have pressure on one side. Got it. And so my it won't trigger the response. Okay. Does it need to be in the pillow? It can't be in the belt itself, the, the fact that you've changed your position. The thing is, if you sleep on your uh, side ah, or you on, your, on your stomach, then, um, you know, it may go may off yeah. and it may be a false alarm. That's why I thought pillow will be the best because your head is always on the pillow when you usually sleep. And so it reduces the scope of having a false alarm. Would the compression belt affect things like the pressure on a full bladder? You know, what are the other kind of side things that it will affect? Um, that's actually a great question and that's one of the things that I need to work on uh, as to how much, as I said, how much the belt should actually compress because if you have a full bladder then you might not need to compress too much. Even a little bit will be enough. Um, and other than that, I'm also going to try to work on a button in case it's getting too tight, despite all the safeties that we've gone through, we'll have a button so you can immediately release the air and you can... Um, like an emergency button. Emergency yeah. button, absolutely.